Hello everyone, this video is presented by Carbon Laboratory, in which we explain one of our recently published articles in ACS Applied Energy Materials. This article is about three-dimensional hybrid carbon MEMS on graphite coated stainless steel substrate as high-performance anode for lithium-ion batteries. You see, the a typical lithium-ion battery consists of anode, cathode, electrolyte and a separator. Whenever we apply a potential difference across the electrodes, the lithium ions move from cathode and intercalate into the host-like structures of the carbon. During discharging process, the lithium ions spontaneously move back to cathode by allowing the electrons to flow through the external circuit. These are the various reversible electrochemical reactions that are happening during charging and discharging. So, in all commercial batteries, they use graphite as a material, uh, as anode material, because of its good dimensional stability. But, however, it suffers from low specific capacity. So, we are trying, in this work, we are trying to replace the graphite material with hybrid electrode material so that the energy storage capability for these electrodes is improved. So, it is a typical fabrication procedure to prepare 3D carbon microelectrodes. Initially, SUA2050 is spin coated on top of stainless steel wafer and then pre baked. The spin coated film is pre baked to remove any excess solvent and then further it is exposed to the UV radiation under a desired pattern mask. Here, the parts which are exposed to UV of the photoresist gets cross-linked and the parts which are unexposed gets, gets washed away in the developing step leading these kind of 3D uh, SUA8 microstructures and further these structures are pyrolyzed at 900 degrees Celsius to give a uh, carbon 3D microelectrodes on this stainless steel wafer and these carbon microelectrodes are anode uh, in the coin cell setup. In the cyclic stability, it is observed that the specific discharge capacity is increased with the cycle number and there is a simultaneous decrease of coulombic efficiency uh, with the cycle number. So this peculiar behavior is happening because of the unwanted lithium plating that is happening at the substrate. So let's try to understand the lithium plating phenomenon in much more detail. So you see the lithiation and during lithiation and dual lithiation whenever the lithium uh, encounters the my carbon microelectrode, the inter it intercalates and deintercalates simultaneously when it at when it encounters the stainless steel substrate, the lithium plating and stripping happens, which is partially reversible. So due to which the lithium ions are irreversibly getting trapped at the substrate. So uh, it is, so to prevent it, we must eliminate the electrolyte contact with the stainless steel substrate. Therefore, the strategy is to prepare the carbon microelectrodes on the graphite coated substrate. So in the fact, initially we have taken the stainless steel wave substrate and then coarsened it with the sandpaper. And then <coughs> a 4B pencil was chosen to apply on top of the stainless steel wafer. Then we followed the regular Siemens technique to prepare carbon microelectrodes on graphite coated substrate. In the FASM images, we can see the carbon microelectrodes are prepared on bare stainless steel and graphite coated substrate. In the Raman business, the data is collected from the two different locations. One is at the top of the pillar and the other one is from the graphite coated substrate. The ID by ID ratio is calculated for both the locations, which in general depicts the disorderness in the system. The high ID by ID ratio for the carbon pillar uh, signifies the disordered content because of the hard carbon nature. The, the ID by ID ratio for substrate which is 0 0.6 which is ascribed to the graphitic nature of the substrate therefore the electrode configuration is a combination of hard carbon and graphite. If we compare the performance of the carbon microelectrode, the graphite coated substrate and the carbon microelectrodes on graphite coated stainless steel substrate, it is observed that the hybrid electrodes have performed the outperform the other electrodes. And if you see the charge discharge data of the carbon microelectrodes on the bare stainless steel, there is a big difference between the discharge capacity and charge capacity because of the lithium plating phenomena. This gap is further reduced in case of carbon microelectrodes on graphite coated substrate. It, further, it is observed that the specific discharge capacity is significantly improved uh, when come and as the graphite coating not only provides the conducting pathways but also adds the extra storage capability for the lithium ion intercalation. So if we see the cyclic if we see the cyclic alternately, the both the intercalation and deintercalation and allowing de alloying peaks are visible. The alloying and de alloying peaks belongs to lithium silicon interaction. This silicon is originated from the pencil coating. It, in the typical pencil manufacturing process, the graphite is mixed with the silica clay binder in different proportions to determine the hardness and blackness of the pencil needle. It is known that silica is also electrochemically active and improves the specific capacity. 
Therefore, it is observed that the hybrid electrode has delivered a specific capacity of 550 milliamp per, per gram and retains a capacity around 538 milliamp per gram after even after 100 cycles at 0.5 ampere per gram. It, most importantly, it is also observed that the Coulombic efficiency remained almost near 100 uh, in, in, in case of graph, uh, graphite coated substrate. Therefore, the unwanted lithium plating problem is also successfully addressed with the graphite coated So, in summary, we have successfully optimized the parameters to fabricate hybrid electrodes and successfully address the undesired lithium plating problem. Also, there is a significant increase in the gravimetric capacity of the hybrid electrodes when compared to the carbon microelectrodes on bare stainless steel. Simultaneously, the cyclic stability is also significantly improved from 80% to 99.7%. So thank you for your time and patience. Stay tuned to Carbon Lab channel for more such informative videos. Thank you.